Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to 8 Minutes Strong with Armor Bear. I'm so blessed to be with you today. I just release heaven's blessings over your life. If you're watching the broadcast and you haven't subscribed, be sure and hit that subscribe button. And then, of course, send it out to some people that you know, especially those you're working with in the local church. It's going to help and really minister to them. Uh, go to my website, godsarmorbear.com, if you're interested in our books, material, and also I have a mentoring program. It's $100 a month. It's not expensive. And uh, I I call you. I, I'm your counselor. I'll walk you through whatever place that you're at. I am a life coach, and uh, so I would love to help you in any way that we can. Uh, I am out on the road at this time in my life, and so I would just uh, be open to really doing anything in your area. You can uh, email me uh, if you would like for me to come, and just uh, we can correspond and we get it going. All right, here we go. I've been talking about the armor bearer course, and this is what this is all about. And it's what the spirit of God is saying today. Uh, gosh, a couple of years ago, the Lord said to me, there's coming an armor bearer awakening. And so in that, I began to sense that there was transition coming in my life. We stepped down as senior pastors a couple of weeks ago, and now I am out ministering that revelation across the country. Now I know everything, everything I've taught is on YouTube. And I, let me just say, go back to the very beginning of eight minutes strong. Uh, and begin to watch those. Create your own small group. Get, get about, get your choir together. Get your youth group together. All your leadership and those who are wanting to get involved and do a small group. Watch eight minutes of it. Discuss it. Watch another eight minutes. I'm telling you, it's going to sow into your life. It's going to impart wisdom and revelation. Uh, I've been in ministry now for 50 years. And I'm in my impartation. You know, you teach what you know and you impart who you are. So I am here to impart that into you at this season in my life. And so please take it, get it, get all you can, because I want to say this to you. This is foundational. It is the heart of a servant. And if we don't have this in our life, we're not going to make it in ministry. And I know some would want to challenge me on that, but you're not because the Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ. Everything I'm teaching is that right there. The mind of Jesus, the heart of a servant, servant leadership, and learning how to serve your leaders. So if we're going to serve our leader, if we're going to stand with them against the enemy, and you have to understand what an armor bearer really was in the Old Testament. An armor bearer took the shield and carried it into battle to protect the, the, the warrior. And so he carried that shield, shield actually so the warrior could sling the blade without having to carry a shield. He had someone protecting him and, and, uh, they could just walk through armies by doing that. It was an incredible strategy that it, Israel had. And so we've got to carry our spirit. Now I want you to listen to this about Jonathan and his armor bearer because here we see just incredible keys to stand in with our leader. Uh, this is first Samuel 14, six. Then Jonathan said to the young man that bore his armor, come, let us go over to the garrison of these uncircumcised. And it may be that the Lord will work for us for nothing restrains the Lord from saving by many or by few. Now that is faith coming out of Jonathan. Now, there's one thing about a visionary. A visionary is always going to see vision, and they are going to speak faith. And I know that when your leader speaks faith, you, you've got to be with him. I mean, you, you can't go, oh, my gosh, now he's walking out on the water again. No, that's what they're called to do. They have to walk out on the water. You, you're going to have to, I mean, step out on the water in areas that you've never been before. And I can remember, I mean, I remember when, gosh, when we were building our building, I was working uh, as an armor bearer and working as associate pastor in Little Rock. Man, I can remember when the pastor said, hey, this is back in like 1983, he said, hey, we're going to build a building and we're paying for it. It's going to be debt free. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sitting on the front row and I can hear him. He's the visionary. We're going to do this. 
we're going to do that and we're going to do this. And oh my gosh, I sat and I laughed and I thought, yeah, and I know who we is. I felt like getting me a t-shirt. My name is we. And, uh, oh my gosh, because I just knew that we were going to get to do something. And so, you know, it, it is, it is that place because he would call me in the office and said, Hey, Hey, Terry, this is what we are going to do. Man, I'm telling you, uh, it was a faith project, but in that I knew what we meant. It meant W O R K and it meant given a season. And I want to talk to you right here in, in the kingdom. There are seasons. And as you say, well, how long is a season? Well, from the beginning to the end, how long it is. And that was a season. And at that time, I knew my wife and I, we sat down and we said, you know, this is going to be a lot of work. And so we might as well just get into it with the right attitude because we're there to hold up his arms. And I mean, we are going to have to do this. And so, man, we just set our hearts in that place. And and I prepared my mind to rejoice in the small things and and work in the hard things and even in the middle of the hard work that you just keep moving forward because eventually the season's going to come to a close and it does and it's in those times where your attitude is tested your endurance your perseverance but in that when you see the end result and you see people being born again, saved, delivered because of the fact that you gave yourself into that season, season and what you did is you prepared the way for the spirit of God to manifest. And that's what we're doing. That is the call of God on our life in the body of Christ. Every member should be a minister. Uh, and, and that's where we are, where we are. <laughs> Your name is we. So. I don't have any t-shirts <laughs> that I ought to sell them. My name is we, uh, and I work at such and such church, <laughs> not in such and such church, but I want you to know something. All you we's are blessed. It's the we's in the Bible that got it done. And so I just release the power of the spirit on you today. I bless you. Just let God's prosperity and anointing come on you and remember something good. It's going to happen to you.